Hi, I'm Sam Longstreth. I'm going to talk about how to make an effective seal. Being manufacturers of polyethylene film, people are always asking what temperature should I use to seal your film. We've got a lot of different film grains. There are three different things that affect the making of a good seal. Heat, pressure, and time. So if you change one, you probably have to change the other two. So this is a very rudimentary sealing piece of sealing equipment and we're going to set it on the number one dwell time and I'm going to try to add a whole lot of pressure. This has a spring in it to provide the amount of pressure but we're going to bypass that by me putting my massive weight on top of it. So let's see what happens. Okay. It was very short dwell time with a whole lot of pressure and we just barely stuck together in one place. So let's do the same thing, except we're going to crank the dwell time up to three. There it is. And again, use a whole lot of pressure. Let's see what we got there. Oop, almost, but no cigar. So now we're going to crank the uh, dwell up to 11, no, we're just going to crank it up to 5 and see what happens. Again, we're going to apply a whole lot of pressure. Okay. Oh, I think we definitely have pay dirt. All right, yeah, we've got, I think what we've got is an effective seal there. Yeah. It's strong. So we changed the dwell time, used a whole lot of pressure in the same heat, and we finally got a good uh, seal. So that's how heat, pressure, and time can affect the quality of the seal.